Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I've got an interesting product here that I wanted to take a look at. thought I'd uh, show you. This is a mini audio FX soundboard, a special effects soundboard from Adafruit. And it has 16 megabytes of memory. And you hook up a micro B USB cable to this and it sort of gets recognized as a like a flash drive. And you just drag and drop audio files onto this board and then they have seven pins or eight pins on this mini board here that when triggered you you apply a momentary uh, ground to each pin that triggers it a sound effect associated with that pin will get played and you associate the sound effect with that pin by the way you name it so it has uh, zero through seven and I think there's an option, there's one of the features uh, for the trigger modes is up to 10 different sound effects on one pin. And depending on the trigger mode, it either plays those in, in sequence or in a random fashion. But I thought this was pretty interesting. I've got a project in mind, so all I need to do is get these header pins on. I've got the battery and I have a little uh, backpack uh, charging board that I want to hook up to this also that allows me to charge a lithium ion battery or lipo uh, battery through that board through the US, micro USB cable. So let's get started on this. So just need to break these off. There's that one and then use a breadboard to hold it and it makes it easier to solder these to the circuit board. And I think this was the correct position on that one. So I'm all set to solder those pins. All nice and straight. But let me get the rest of these pins done. Well, I made a mistake. I've got this battery pack that I want to install. It goes over those three pins. Actually, there are these extra long header pins that you install for just these three pins. And you install this backpack. It allows you to connect a lithium-ion battery. And it also allows you, allows you to charge the battery through this um, micro USB or is that a mini USB so I have to desolder these pins so I can add these longer pins and install this backpack so you can charge it up and then disconnect it and it'll run off of the battery I thought that was a pretty good idea to install that so now I just need to hopefully I don't have to take off the whole row here. Hopefully I can just break off this section. I just have to desolder this. Sometimes you have to add solder in order to get rid of solder. Okay, that was a pain in the butt. I had to take off this whole section and these are the pins that come with the little uh, Pro Trinket backpack. Okay, I've got the pins on. Here's the board. I was debating, there's a jumper here. If you want to charge, the default is 100 milliamp charge rate. If you want to charge batteries larger than 500 milliamp hour batteries, they have a 0.5 amp or 500 milliamp charge rate if you jump that with a uh, ball of solder. So I closed that and decided to go with, I have this larger 200 and uh, 2500 milliamp hour 3.7 volt battery. So I just need to install this. There's also a trace here, if you break that 
you can then solder two wires and have an on off switch and I was just making sure that there was nothing touching so that looks good so that's soldered down Now I can't drive a speaker directly from this board so I have to feed it into this this is a 2.1 class D audio amplifier so I have to wire this up okay I finally have successfully installed some sound files onto the soundboard and there are some quirky things about this though that they do mention in the documentation I just wasn't paying attention uh, I have decided to put this uh, little backpack onto the soundboard that allows you to charge a LiPo battery um, and you have to have of course the micro USB cable hooked up uh, so you can charge the battery the thing is uh, in this configuration the soundboard is not recognized uh, in Windows 10 um, I don't know if that's different for other operating systems so you have to uh, disconnect the battery and then this will be recognized and then you can download the sound files then you hook the battery back up but it can't play the sound files until you disconnect the USB cable uh, it will not play the files with the USB cable hooked up so it's autonomous you disconnect that you've got the battery charged in fact, I've got two green LEDs here now. That means that uh, I have finally fully charged this LiPo battery. You can see two green LEDs there. You can see the two green LEDs. So, yeah, I think the red one on the top says uh, charge, abbreviated charge. And I can't read what the other one says now. So I, I just used my magnifying glass. I believe that they labeled that done. It looks like D-U-N. So that means the charging is done when there's a green light and the red LEDs for charge. So anyways, I found the special effects I was interested in on the internet. And they were MPEG files, so uh, they do mention on the Adafruit website about uh, using uh, the software Audacity. So I downloaded that open source software and changed the MPEG files to WAV files. And also the, the bit rate is 16 or 8 or 16 bit. So made sure everything was correct for the sound files they do have zip files for some sound files you can use to test out uh, the soundboard of the eight on the Adafruit website but let's go ahead and show you what I'm doing here in Audacity so I unzip these sound effects and you actually have to uh, import the audio and then export the audio you don't save save it I learned that but let's see where are the sound files that I was interested in so I think I'm up to this one here and I'll show you you recognize this sound And that's what I want to save onto the sound uh, board. So now I just need to export the audio. And name it. This is the standard playback for the sound effect. So I want that to be 8. 16 bit and save. So basically, you just drag and drop or copy and paste onto the soundboard.
So that took a couple of minutes for just those eight files. And it's recognized sort of like a flash drive. So you can see there the used space. That was 3.49 megabytes for those sound effects. And I still have 12.3 megabytes left. All right, so I have everything working the way I want it uh, to work. And I think you'll be able to tell right from the very first sound effect what my favorite show is. Uh, I'll talk over this because I think sound effects are copyrighted too. Although I don't believe these are the original sound effects. These are just sound effects that people have tried to uh, duplicate from the original show. But I'll talk over these so hopefully I don't get any copyright strikes on this. But you can see how I have these all in a row here. Like I want them uh, in the normal progression here up until the last one. Which of course is the gate opening up. So that's pretty cool. Once it's all working and you figure it out little uh, quirks involved here. So, got that working to a point that i uh, comfortable with how it works now and I'll be able to repeat it if I want to add other sound effects or play with some of the other options as far as uh, the different trigger modes that you can use for each individual pin. So if you found this video interesting, please subscribe, like, and or comment. And thanks for watching. That's great. That's great. I still need to add an on-off switch to this. I just have to disconnect the battery, I guess.